So Claire's always been such a strong, independent spirit. What is it like for Janie to have to be an emotional support to her when she's suffering from PTSD in the last episode? Yeah, well, he uh, obviously has been through his own uh, his own trauma as well. So, um, you know, it's just nice to see Jamie and Claire back in that sort of relationship that we've, we've learned to, to, to see them operating in, but they both had their heads in different places and been going through their own physical or emotional trauma. So it's actually lovely just to see them reconnect and, um, and certainly they need each other to sort of get over any sort of trauma. Know, faith also before that uh, losing their sort of child was, was a big moment for them a big bonding moment also a big um, it was a moment where they, they could have gone either way um, he recently did a post which was like 50 most romantic TV couples ever oh yeah and Jamie and Claire made it on the list we did yeah even after just where were we that season, I don't know when over actually I didn't uh, see <laughs> okay what do you think it is about their story that's so compelling to people so yes, it's um, it's hard to say. I think they're soulmates. You know, I think um, it's not about you know a sort of romanticism or you know everything's happy and, and sort of beautiful all the time. In fact, as we tried to show in season two, you know, they go through a lot of trauma and a lot of tough decisions and a lot of challenging uh, moments but ultimately they need each other and they, they rely on each other and whatever they go through it makes them stronger as yeah. the uh, So it feels like a, a modern relationship but it also feels like something that we can learn from. Um, so yes, hopefully it's not just yeah, a sort of romantic story that there's, there's more truth to it. And with the announcement of the renewal for two more seasons, um, what are you excited to explore with Jamie that you haven't had a chance to yet? Yes, well, I think Jamie for, uh, has gone through, you know, quite a, a journey in, you know, from season one being this young warrior who's kind of no responsibility and, uh, and finding his feet in the world to, to falling in love, to, to being married, to being uh, a lair, to being going through trauma, to being a father, to his child. And now, nine and ten, we see him finally becoming the man he's supposed to be, which is this leader of men. You know, he's, he's got this natural ability, but he had to go through his other stuff to become this person. Um, so season three and four, I don't know. I'm really excited um, to, to, to experience it. But the thing, I guess, is, without giving away spoilers, uh, but if you've read the books, you know that they lose each other. <clears throat> uh, Jamie thinks she's dead, or, or she's dead, she's, she's gone from his life. Uh, so why does he continue? What's he got to live for? And then what does it mean for, for someone to lose that person that they rely on so much? So it'll be interesting to see who he becomes. And then when she turns up again, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Thank you so much.